this is a table. Uh, you see, you see the outline of the table. But if you save and refresh, you will see nothing. So um, the first thing, if we click something in this table and save, you can see it. So the table can have some borders, but for this for this example, we we don't want uh, borders. We will need to <coughs> we need to stick the graphics inside the table. So let's see this. The first row in our table, we have like um, this uh, logo. We have the slogan. We have one, two, three buttons. So um, I will need to insert another table at the top row having five columns. I hope you, you're getting my idea. So uh, I'll go and click another guideline until here for the slogan another one for the mail one for sitemap and one for home <coughs> okay and the meanwhile I'll go to Dreamweaver and remove this text and I say I need to insert another table inside the top the top row so I'll go to insert table the size is uh, obviously the same so uh, we have one big row and five columns as you can see we have now those five columns uh, in our first row of the biggest table the first thing we need to do is to click inside the first column at the top and go to image insert image and go to your images folder and select your logo and and call this uh, give it an alternative text it's cancer research click OK save let's uh, let's preview this in our browser and here we go now the first thing you, you might notice is that we need our layout to be centered. This is all possible when you go back to Dreamweaver, select the, uh, the outer table. Uh, if you can see this, I'm selecting the table from this text here. I click it and I say align to center. I will save, go to refresh, and this is centered in the middle. Let's keep the, the following. We will have to uh, slice the uh, slogan. So again, this is a GIF image. Call it slogan. I'm going uh, about this quickly. For the buttons, just uh, click the uh, the middle in the middle. Slice these uh, without the white uh, the white uh, color call this uh, btn mail I'm going again to um, the sitemap and the last button is btn what was that btn home all right so go back to dreamweaver as you can see the uh, when we inserted the image it was stretched uh, it stretched the uh, the content of this table data okay so don't mind just put in your mouse your cursor inside the second column and go to insert image and I'll go about slogan call this cancer research slogan then go to the next one insert your image for for the mail and one for um, the other button Sitemap, and lastly, 
our last button is the home button perfect click save and go back to um, Firefox refresh alright this is good now we have some spacing here the best way to get rid of this spacing is to uh, give each table data the uh, its size so um, this image is has a size of 76 I'll go insert this value here this is 762 Lastly, home is 75. Also, make sure the other graphics are the same. So, uh, 306 for the uh, the container of the logo. And lastly, for our logo slogan, I have 135. Click save, refresh. Uh -huh. So it's still okay. And let's let me try just few few possible solutions for this you know maybe we uh, we sliced the whole thing uh, smaller than expected uh, anyway I'll align this to the right check all right so now this is the top part but as you can see if you uh, click and drag you will see our buttons starting to take in place and each object is standing alone but this isn't clickable so I will go to Dreamweaver, click this image, sorry, one click, and can see this link um, and the properties. Go there and and say what is your expected page for the mail page? Maybe it is mail.html. It depends on what you are going going to call it, but uh, in general, it's mail.html. Notice when I click enter, you, you can see the uh, the um, the border of this image. There is some blue border around it. This is by default when you add a link to the image. This is added through HTML. The way to get rid of it is to click the image and place zero in the border property. We will keep doing the same for the sitemap. Remember to give a zero border. One for the home page, which is not home.php uh, HTML. It is index your first page dot HTML. One more thing to mention is I don't know if you see this often, but in sites when you click on the logo of the site, you are taken to the home page. So we'll click on the logo and give it a link to index dot HTML and give it a border of zero. Go on save, refresh. Now you can see and it changes, but when you scroll your mouse over the images, you can see I can click cancel research, and when I do, I'm going back to index.html. The same thing occur for home page. Now mail and sitemap are uh, missing pages, so if we click them, we'll see that this is a missing page. Later on, when you create these pages, these pages, just put them in the same folder in the same location where you put the index.html. 